It's week 11 of the National Football League, and we'll see the dynamic Justin Fields. He's your top dog in the league this season, ranking first in passing yards. It's the Commanders and the Giants, and it comes your way next. We are technically five miles east of Washington, D.C., and that's where you find this place, FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Today, we've got an interesting Week 11 matchup on tap as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Washington Commanders. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. And a glance here at the man calling the plays under center, their 6'4 quarterback. And he ought to have a lot of pep in his step after last week's performance because he did exactly as you want him to play if you're a coach. Three touchdown passes, zero interceptions, which usually means you're making a lot of right decisions out there. And got him the win. Here's Allen. Tyler Eifert. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Give him 18 there, and the Giants have a first down. Brady going to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Now this Washington defense, Charles, terrific in the victory a week ago. And what keyed their victory? The pass rush. Got to the quarterback six times for sacks, and plenty of other turbulence in the pocket for him as well. Hard to throw the ball downfield, but all you're seeing is opposing jerseys come at you. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. So here is Washington now backed up a bit to start their first drive. And they'll be led out by a man who nearly broke the single-season rushing record for quarterbacks last season. A true dual threat out of Ohio State, Justin Fields. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's had such a sensational season to this point, leading the NFL in passing yards. He's been helped out a lot by an outstanding set of receivers, and he's quick to give them credit. But I think even they would tell you that he's the guy that makes this offense go. One play action. Fields. That one caught by Carter. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. I don't care who you put on him. He's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man. -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Now, the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Play action. It's Fields. Underneath pass here to Van Ed. First catch so far for the man who led the NFL coming into the weekend. He's got a first down. Back to throw, Fields. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down in a yard. The throw over the middle, taken in. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Here's Fields. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. So, Charles, you talk about this offense, how well they played. I mean, the defense, too, really. But they're sitting at 10-0 and now on the year. 4-0, 5-0, that's nice. But once you start hitting double digits with these wins and no losses, I think the seriousness of the situation, it just has to ramp up. Yeah, and when you do say 10-0, and it can't scare you as a team. Just think about it this way. For most of the year, they've been playing to win their division and get to the playoffs. Now the playoffs are just about a foregone conclusion. So now they have to down-focus their thoughts about getting home field advantage and finishing unbeaten, and they need to make sure they keep it in that order. 
So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. Brady now on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Howard. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. Shotgun now for Brady. It's the tight end Herndon with it. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Brady now to throw. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Giants. A big play there with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Giants are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. Now the try here for the point after. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. The kicking team out there for the Giants as they will send this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in, but I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I'll guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending today. Right. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in their conference. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Underneath pass here to Van Ed. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. End up making it. Now, nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. Well, hang on a second here, because on that last play, it appears one of the Giants shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Now a throw here to his running back, and he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Fields hit, and the ball is loose. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt, six on the return, and it'll be giant football first and ten. On first and ten, here's Brady. It's the tight end Herndon with it. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and ten. Meanwhile, Brady's throw complete here to Herndon. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Now they nab the rookie there for the five-yard penalty. So much going through his head. You know it just has to be, right? All of his assignments and realizing every game he plays, one of the better players in the league will be opposite him. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it'll be second down. Now 
After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a second and 13 forthcoming. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. And Brady's throw there, incomplete. Strong coverage by Washington, and now fourth down. So the Giants now are going to turn it over to their field goal unit. And his kick is good. So that Charles a season long, and uh, since he's a rookie, I guess we can go ahead and call that a career long as well. I love how you put that together because, you know, <laughs> that's where everyone at home was saying, okay, has to be career, right, since he's a rookie. Well done by you, but I definitely like what I've seen from him so far this year. Very distinguished college career. He's looking right at home here in the NFL. They'll start on the ground here on first down. He pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards second down. Here's second and seven. Now it's Fields. Over the middle complete. That's Carter. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now a first down throw. Fields. Throw left side complete. That's George. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Off play action, Fields. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. Here's Fields. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. On second down, it's George. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard, stop short of the 35. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. Well, these two teams hooking up for the second time this year. They first met back in October, week seven. And it was the Commanders who picked up the road victory, so they'll be fighting for the season sweep in this one. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Fields. He'll get it inside the 20 and all the way down to the 17-yard line. Well, we get a stoppage because, as you can see, a member of the commanders in some obvious discomfort. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. On first down, Fields. And he whips that one incomplete there. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired it up. Touchdown! Michael Thomas from 17 yards out. And the Commanders are an extra point away from drawing level. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver. And that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. All level now at 10 apiece as the kicks away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. New York ready to go again offensively. On first down, Brady. And incomplete on the deep ball. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. To throw is Brady. All the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. Nick Bosa in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. A third and long. You knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, 
He really tightened up things downfield in coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Good drive last time, really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? Well, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. And New York set to take the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Well, for last week's performance, which was so good, he was named NFC Defensive Player of the Week. He got a lot of praise, and understandably so, from national media. Looking pretty good on that play, too. And I love what he told us this week before the game. He talked about how much time they spend working on pass rush moves every position. Funches is free! And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now we've got a giant player here, slow to get up after that last play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Now a carry for Allen. Tyler Eifert. He's to the 15. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So retract the yardage and retract the touchdown. And retract the chunk play. Big strike there to get the touchdown. Now they've got to take it back and see if they've got another one still in their arsenal. And he carries this one past the midfield stripe and into commander territory. Brady's saying let's go as he'll hustle him to the line. Second and 11. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. An incomplete pass on that last play and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And this is going to be intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And the Commanders will take over here just shy of the 30. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. But we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. Fields on first down. He finds his man complete. It's George. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. A shotgun snap, Fields. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. He's got his target. That's complete. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. The throwing again is Fields. And he's got the net. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. His tremendous season passing the football, it continues, Charles. That last throw puts him over 4,000 yards now in the year. And he's still got the rest of November and all of December still to play. So to me, 5,000 yards, very much in play. On first down, George, and down inside the 15 he goes. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went, touchdown Washington. Michael Thomas with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Commanders will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. 
Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office, they get a bigger and bigger collective smile because they feel more confident that they have found their guy, their future at quarterback. And they should feel that way. It's obvious he's a big part of why they have such a good record this season. You're right about the bright future as well. And by association, a bright future for the franchise too. And the Giants with one final possession here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Second down in the yard. Now Brady. And that's complete to the right side. It's Allen. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Throwing on first down is Brady. That's caught by Howard. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Brady now on first down. And yet again, it's Howard with a catch. Touchdown, Giants! A great effort there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Giants have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And he gets it to go, and we're all even. 17 apiece. A drive there of just four plays. And it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. Past the halfway point of the season and now past the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Here come the commanders for the first possession of the third quarter. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second and four. Here's Fields. That one caught by Carter. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 27-yard line. On play action, Fields. Touchdown! Again, 27 yards, and Washington has taken the lead. Extra point right down the middle, and they will take a seven-point lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They begin the drive on the ground with Allen. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Third and two. Now Brady on the bootleg. That is caught, and they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage, and tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. But that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. Brady now to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is out of bounds, but 
and not before he's inside the 30. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. And Brady's throw there, incomplete. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. They'll run with Allen. Evades him at the 20. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Tom Brady scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Giants are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now it's Fields. He finds his man complete. It's George. They'll wind up getting just a yard at its second down. Fields now to throw. And his throw is incomplete. That ball was tipped in the air, and while it ultimately fell incomplete, it caused a few anxious moments for the guy slinging it who's had quite a day. He knows how to get it into the end zone. He's throwing it really, really well. And maybe Lady Luck is on his side because he avoided his first interception of the contest. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And out will come the offense as they take over. Play action. Now it's Brady. And he finds Howard complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. It's a gain of 34. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. Now Allen. 43 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. He's now just three yards shy of 197 yards receiving on the contest and a first down. Up the middle they go. Allen and a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Second and eight coming from the 19. To throw, it's Brady. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Carter. And the Giants are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Brady. And that's off the mark incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an outer boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. This will be play number eight on the drive. It's third and goal. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Carter. A four-yard pickup. Not enough. Fourth down. And his kick is indeed good, and they have regained the lead. So, CD, maybe put a pin in that one as this game progresses. It's a field goal that gets him the lead here in the third, but, boy, you hate settling for three when you're that close to the goal line. Well, it certainly pains me to say it, but I do think it was the right call. Now, if they lose, you and I both know that'd be one of the things that gets second-guessed. Why didn't you go for it on fourth and goal? But I know the mindset was take the points, get the lead. And, by the way, if they went for it and got stuffed, they'd second-guess that, too. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. 
Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. He finds his man complete. It's George. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Fields throwing again. He finds his man complete. That's George. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Here's second and three. Play action. It's Fields. Middle of the field. He's got McLaurin. And McLaurin going to pick up a commander's first down as he'll be brought down at the 27. Fields throw complete there to Thomas. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. From the 21, here's second down and three. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Anytime a ball is thrown in the middle of the field has popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It's second and goal back to the eight-yard line now. Back to throw. Fields. This to McLaurin out on the left side. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin from eight yards out. And the Commanders have taken a fourth-quarter lead. Extra point splits the uprights, and that will make this a four-point game. Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. Taking it about the one. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. And now out come the Giants. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A few better down a score in the fourth quarter than Tom Brady. This is first and 10. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. To throw is Brady. Herndon's got it complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Now Brady. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington 16. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Yes, indeed, that play there, that reminds me of some of the guys that I played with to have that suddenness, able to get into the backfield almost about the time the ball snapped and make a play. How about that tackle for a loss? Absolutely. He did a lot of that last week when he was named the NFC Defensive Player of the Week. One of the guys on the team was saying, hey, you'll be called him the disruptor. And that's carrying forward again. Makes sense, doesn't it? No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them with no gain. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. And he'll weave all the way up 
to just a few yards shy of midfield. A great return. So here is Washington now to take over. They've got the lead yet again in this ball game with their winning streak right now sitting at 10. They'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. George. And the stop here will come at the 48-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Fields. He gets it to Thomas. Will go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Now a handoff up the middle. It's George, and he'll go down at the 28. On first and 10, here's Fields. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it does it, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. All eyes on fields. He's got his target. That's complete. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long. And this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, and now the rookie's free. And he's going to wind up bringing this one inside the 45-yard line. They'll come up first and 10 here. Brady to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, he leads the NFL in interceptions and nearly added to that total. Got his hand on it, couldn't quite corral it. It's been a Pro Bowl-type season for him, and the term ballpark really comes into play, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that one a lot because teams want to avoid that type of a player, but sometimes you just can't. He just knows where the ball is. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. Here we go. This is fourth down. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and 10. Now well, Brady gets away with one. Lucky, could have been intercepted, but it falls to the ground. To throw is Brady. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Ferguson. Now first and goal. And this will be caught. Touchdown. So in the final minute here, now a two-point conversion will tie the game. They're going to try and run for it. And he's going to get into the end zone. The two-point conversion successful, and we've got ourselves a tie football game. This one, all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute as the kick's away here. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Oh, and the tackle comes quickly. That's only going to get him a couple. On second down now, it's George. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Now a first down throw, Fields. Now a quick throw there is incomplete. 
Not laying back defensively. They blitzed right there first play in OT. The game's changed a bit, hasn't it? <laughs> I'm telling you, when we were kids, most of the time you'd lay back, not necessarily prevent defense, but you'd want everything in front of you and hope that the offense made a mistake. Now people aren't counting on that. They're going after them and being aggressive. Of course, if they pick up your blitz, it could be a big play for the offense. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. In need of a third and ten conversion to keep this opening drive of OT alive. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. Inside give to Elliott. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. On the counter, Elliott. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Washington going to send out their punter on for a very important punt here in overtime. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Now a first throw here in overtime. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They run the counter. It's Allen, and able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. Next score wins, but remember, this will be a tie if the period ends with no scoring as they work on second down. They were looking good on second down, but now they're backed up five yards by the false start, and it's second and eight. Brady going to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Nico Collins. His first catch, and it's a big one in overtime. It's a first down. Up the middle they go. It's Allen, and he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Here's a give up the middle. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. On first down, Brady. It's the tight end, Herndon with it. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Two minutes left in this overtime session and still all tied. Brady looking to throw on third and two. And that went off the mark a little late with a throw. Now a timeout called for by the defense. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he's fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Right back to him on first down. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. And this will be caught. It's a touchdown. An absolute stunned silence here as they have come in and stolen this one in overtime. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. Yeah, Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to a one-possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward.
So for the Jets, the win gets them a step closer to 500 at 5-6. Five and six, And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Washington, it's a disappointing way to lose your first game as they drop to 10-1 and one now on the year. And they'll have a quick turnaround as they're back in action Thursday afternoon at around 3.30 Eastern for the traditional Thanksgiving Day game in Dallas. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.